Welcome to Coding with Kate. That's me. This video and hopefully many others will be discussing medical coding because I love talking about it and I love learning about it. So you're probably asking, what is medical coding? Most people don't know what medical coding is. I personally did not either before I was introduced to it and found that I love it and I want to continue a career in medical coding. But I do want to let everyone know this video and coming videos are not associated with any of the health information management associations that offer training and certifications for coders. I'm not affiliated with them. Yes, I'm taking courses with one of them, but this is not sponsored by them. This is just me wanting to verbalize what I'm learning to test my knowledge and to hopefully help other students. And maybe I'll even project questions that I have and hope there's medical coders watching this that can help me. Yes, on the association's website, they do have a forum where you can engage with other medical coders and other professionals within the HIM department, Health Information Management Department, but this is just another avenue. So know that I'm not associated with them and I will say out loud, I'm not sure if this is correct. I think this is correct because this is a learning experience for me and a learning tool for me. So I am not a professional yet. <laughs> I'm working towards getting certified. So keep that in mind. So to start off, medical coding essentially is taking the medical record and applying numeric and alphanumeric codes that will be read by the insurance company for reimbursement to the hospital, physician's office, or the healthcare provider. These codes are used because insurance companies do not know how to read the medical record. It needs to be translated for them so they can figure out how much will be reimbursed to the healthcare provider. These codes are also used within the healthcare provider's facility to assign charges so then patients know how much each service costs. From there, the insurance company can then show how much will be reimbursed and then the healthcare provider can figure out what charges left over need to be billed to the patient. So knowing all of this and learning about it, I got very interested. I wanted to learn more of what the processes look like, how you go about learning and doing medical coding. It was very fun. If you are a detail-oriented person, if you like solving puzzles, if you have a strong interest in anatomy, physiology, pharmacology, learning about all the different medical terminology, and just the curiosity of reading operation reports or op reports, this is something you need to look into. You have to learn how to translate the medical record or the op report to figure out which codes should be assigned. As you do it, you get very good at knowing which information is pertinent to coding and you just learn how surgical and other medical procedures happen. But the reason I wanted to make these types of videos is because it's a really good learning tool for me and also it can be a model for you as you start learning about medical coding and taking courses on it. I find the talkback method is very good for testing your knowledge of what you've learned, but then also finding out what weaknesses you might have in the learning process. So being able to talk about it as if I'm teaching someone about it, I can see what parts of the process I'm still unsure about or that I need to go back and look at because the more you apply what you're learning, not just reading it and saying, oh, I get it, but actually applying it, you can really see, do I really get it? Fun little story. I learned this method when I was taking an anatomy and physiology course at the local technical college. The professor I had really understood different types of learners, visual learners, kinesthetic learners, etc. I knew that I was definitely a visual learner, but it confirmed that I was definitely a kinesthetic learner. I needed to be actively using my hands and working out what we were learning so then I could have a deeper understanding of it and have an easier time of recalling that information when I needed it, like during tests. So this method was fantastic. And since I truly enjoy 
talking about and learning about coding. I just want to talk to anyone who is faintly interested in it. So use the big wide internet to broadcast my love for learning about coding and hopefully there will be people out there that will also enjoy it or even new coding students who just are looking for another way of an explanation of what they're learning. I'm trying to help you with that and just to help me so I can learn it a lot better. And I'll be making more videos that go more in depth on diagnosis coding, procedural coding, etc. So then you can kind of follow along or at least understand the mechanics of coding. And I will hopefully see you all later with upcoming videos.